Hey tribe, what is the vibe? Welcome back to As I Am Tarot. I'm Kay and I'm here to do another reading for the collective. It's about 3.33 on Monday afternoon and I want to see what's going on with these karmics, shall we? Holy Spirit, I ask that you give me clear, concise, accurate messages for the collective. Archangel Michael, I ask that you protect me from anything that is not of the holiest white light. Anything that is not of the holiest white light, please do not allow it to come in. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. So let's see. Let us see what we can get. <clears throat> <laughs> Caught red-handed. Okay. Accident. Scheming and plotting. Okay, so... Somebody's karmic could have been caught red-handed, scheming and plotting on social media. All right, this is a lot. Let me see. Okay. All right, that's it. So we have caught red-handed, scheming and plotting. There must have been some kind of accident, okay? It's a setup, harsh words, social media. So, I don't know. Somebody could be plotting on your social media or something like that. Oh, I don't know. This is the wrong deck. Yes. How is this karmic feeling right now? What's going on? Cautious. So <laughs> whatever this karmic was caught doing now. They're cautious because they were caught, okay? Ooh, okay, no, 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 no. This is a lot. Okay, so I'm going to just keep the ones that turned over, but let's see. Yeah, no. I'm going to just keep those. Thank you kindly. So they could have been caught by your person or somebody but they're panicking now okay they're feeling hopeless because your person probably doesn't want anything to do with them let's see what the kipper has to say I feel like there's a lot of fighting going on between your person and them. We have occupation that came out in the reverse. So I feel like whoever you're thinking about, if they're still with this karmic, they're not putting any work into that situation over there. It's like, they're not, they're just not. What else? Okay, see, this is too much. But I'm going to take the one that turned over, which is false person. 
Yeah. I feel like whoever you're dealing with, they caught this person probably scheming or plotting against you. Okay? You realize that this whole thing was a setup. And now this um this comic is panicking because they don't they're not trying to lose this person. You know what I'm saying? Let me get two more. Okay, thank you. We have distant horizons and we have thoughts. Then we have the message card at the bottom. So let's clarify and see what's going on here. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, please clarify this occupation card in reverse. Clarify this occupation. We have death, okay? So yeah, I feel like whoever you're thinking about, they're not trying to put in any work to make whatever situation they're in right now with this karmic work. They're not, okay? They just want to bring an end to that situation, I feel like. What else? Put this occupation in reverse. We have the Ten of Cups. <clears throat> I feel like wherever this person is, it was supposed to work out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we have the Page of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Okay. So I feel like this person, wherever they are with this karmic, they are they were trying they were thinking that this was going to be like an uh, an ideal situation, okay? I feel like it was um a case of the grass is greener that turned out not to be, okay? Um and now with this Page of Swords, I feel like this person is spying on you, okay? Either them or the karmic is spying. Or maybe this was, bleh. maybe it was your person, whoever's on your mind that was caught red-handed, spying on you, okay? Because wherever they are, this person is going through a lot with this situation here. It's just a bunch of endings. It's like, okay, I feel like this person, I feel like there's a lot of harsh words, okay? But I feel like this person is definitely wanting to communicate with you. And they're feeling burdened because maybe they can't, okay? And maybe that's who's feeling hopeless, and that's why they're feeling hopeless. Yeah, we have justice at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this person is definitely wanting to come in with some kind of truth, okay? I feel like this person is trying to weigh all their options right now because it's just burdensome wherever they're at or they're just burdened by the fact that they're not happy, okay? They want to put an end to that situation and renew a situation somewhere else clarify this false person we have the knight of wands 
Hmm. That's my player card. Okay. So somebody was moving in a player energy. Yeah, we have the tower. Oh, boy. So I feel like for some of you, whoever this karmic is, clarify this false person. This person was, I feel, cheating on your um your person. Okay. I feel like clarify this knight of wands. I feel like your person. Oop, Oh my gosh. I feel like your person may have found something out. Clarify this Knight of Wands. No. I feel clarify this tower. Clarify the tower, please. We have the Six of Wands. So I feel like <laughs> your person. They they found out that that karmic was cheating, right? They were being played by the karmic the same way they tried to play you for the karmic. But I feel like your person was looking for a way out. And I feel like once they realized that this karmic was cheating on them, that was their, it was a victory. It was their way of getting out the situation, Okay. Yeah, because I feel like the, your person was um, indecisive, all right? <sighs> what else for this um, false person? What else for this false person? It's a lot of fighting. It's a lot of um, competition going on. It's a lot of conflict going on. Wherever your person is at, okay, there's a lot of arguing. It's like, I feel like both people are unhappy, but I feel like They're both wearing a mask because they have to put on for 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 people that they gotta make it look like. Yeah, got the hangman. So I feel like this person is ready to end whatever situation that is over there because it's nothing but burdens, right? Somebody's cheating. Somebody's getting played, and it's a lot of fighting and arguing going on. It's like everybody in the situation over there is trying to one-up each other, okay? So you could know that about your person. Like, your person could be the type of person that's always in competition, okay, for, like, the littlest things, okay? Like, let's see who gets to the door first, you know? Like, let's see, like, you know, just little petty bullshit arguments, Okay? <sighs> Clarify this distant horizons. Clarify this distant horizons. So for some of you, this comment could be playing on your, your social media, okay? You could be getting random friend requests. Clarify this distant horizons. We have the magician in reverse. So we have somebody that's trying to manipulate here, okay? <clears throat> This is a lot. 
this is three, I'll take it. Okay, so we have the Page of Cups. Mm -hmm. Somebody is planning on coming in with some kind of offer. They're coming in to maybe apologize to you, okay? I feel like this person is taking the time right now to strategize what what it is that they're going to come in and offer. And I feel like they're going to come in and offer to give and take equally. This person could have been breadcrumbing you, all right, in the past. But with the magician in reverse, <coughs> excuse me, I feel like this person is just, they're manipulative, okay? Um, this person, I feel like this person... This person just lies. They just lie. Okay? They just lie. And that's probably why things aren't working out where they are with the karmic. This person could be a karmic as well. That's what I'm picking up on. So maybe this is a, the, a karmic twin flame. Okay? For some of you. But this person is going to want to come in offering to give and take equally now. All right. Oh. And with the Ace of Wands at the bottom, yeah, I feel like this person is just all about, they think only with their, their, their private part, okay? They just think with their private parts and that's it. They don't really put much thought into whatever they do. I feel like they're going to come in trying to talk in ways that they have never talked to you before, like emotionally sensitive, like you get what I'm saying? And they're going to come in with like their heart on their sleeves, so to speak. Okay. But this is, this is, this is a lie. Don't fall for it. This is not, this is not going to be genuine at all. Clarify this thoughts card because I feel like that's just them sitting there plotting. This could be it could be them that's plotting. Take it how it resonates. Clarify this thoughts card. We have the justice. Clarify this. We have the high priestess and the king of wands. Hmm. So it could be dealing with a Libra. It could be dealing with a Virgo, Scorpio. But um, it could be dealing with someone with a fire in their chart as well, or Cancer. But I feel like I feel like this person knows that. They can't come in just any old way, right? I feel like they know that their actions mean, their past actions mean that they have to come correct, right? And I feel like with this high priestess, some of them could still be hiding something or they could know that you see them for who they are. They know that they can't bullshit you, okay? Because the high priestess is she who knows all, okay? But I feel like that's why, because the king of wands is a very sexual king. He's a, like, okay, he just, okay. And I feel like this person uses their, their sexual prowess To kind of get you where they want you, okay? So I feel like this person is strategizing on how to come in and lure you in with their sexual 
prowess, but they know they can't just come any old way because they know that you're going to see them coming a mile away. Yeah. So with the six of swords at the bottom, I feel like they're definitely strategizing on how to, how to get you back to where they want you, how to get you back in their grasp the way they had you before. I feel like this person doesn't feel like you have healed. I feel like this person just, it's like they feel entitled to you, okay? <laughs> wow. <sighs> I also feel like this person could be very controlling, okay? What is going to be the outcome here? What's going to be the outcome? Like, the karmic energy is not even in this reading that much, to be honest. It's just all about this person plotting and scheming yeah we have the page of wands so somebody's gonna come in with a message a surprise message i guess we have the queen of wands in reverse hmm 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 okay well there she is <laughs> okay i feel like what else for the outcome you could be getting a message from this karmic because she is panicking. Okay. Yeah. I feel like this um this Queen of Wands in reverse. This is Cersei energy, okay? Game of Thrones, okay. I don't know if you up on it, but I feel like this person cuz we have the magician in reverse and we have the Queen of Wands in reverse. So I feel like somebody's doing something. All right. I feel like this, this queen of wands in reverse could be the one that's watching you with this page of um, swords here. Or she's very inspired to come towards you with some kind of message to deter you from... I guess dealing with this person because she knows that they want to come towards you. Anything else for the outcome? Yeah, maybe this um this karmic is going to hit you up on social media. But I would not trust anything, okay? It's a setup. Anything else about this? What's the outcome? I feel like this Queen of Wands is hoping that whatever, whatever she has to say it will, yeah, <laughs> it will stop you from going towards this Two of Cups, okay? Okay, yeah, with the strength card at the bottom of the deck, I feel like you're... You're not going to fall for it. I feel like you are you already know the type of individuals you're dealing with, okay? Let me get you a Wisdom of the Oracle deck card. What what um messages do you have for the collective Holy Spirit regarding this message? We have higher power and imagine, okay? So 
spirit is definitely all over this. I feel like, you know. All right. Higher power. Conscious contact with the higher power, the presence of the divine, seeing source energy in all things, committing to a partnership with spirit. It's time to address how much effort you give to your relationship with your higher power called God, God is spirit or any other name that is sacred and holy. Recognize that your partnership with spirit is your number one priority. The appearance of this card also indicates that there is a deep spiritual bond between you and another person who is essential to your growth and evolution. Tend to your spiritual connections and remain aware of your true nature. So for some of you, you have somebody in your life that that is a spiritualist. That's someone that you can probably talk to, okay? Or maybe it's just spirit itself, the divine, right? That you, that's the, 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 the advice is to lean on the divine right now, okay? When you feel hopeless, lean on the divine, okay? Because we all have our, our moments of weakness, right? So, all right, <clears throat> imagine, turning imagination into manifestation, creative thought, visualization, the power of aligning Im imagery and feelings, creativity, illusions. In matters of the heart, it's easy to daydream about another as a means of connecting to that person. While it's romantic, if you want this relationship to be real, you need to go for it, not just dream about it. Now is the time to move beyond the daydream and into reality, beyond illusion and into fruition. Relationships are about relating. So step out onto, oh my goodness, <clears throat> onto the dance floor where imagination partners with manifestation. The message of this card is that a person with attributes you have imagined will enter your life. You will be changed for the better. Imagine that. So, like I've been saying, for a lot of you, you guys have a soulmate coming in, okay? So, whatever it is that you've been wanting, okay? What, whatever it is that you've been dreaming of in a person, in a partner, in a job, in a whatever, okay? It's coming in for you. You just have to rely on the higher power, on the divine, and let go and let God. Yep, basically. Okay? All right, guys. If you resonate with this message, like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Love you. Later.